Привет. Как дела? Good evening. This is David Splitnikov, and I am here with the latest edition of As the Blade Turns. As always, we turn to Moscow with the latest skating news. We learned today, officially, that Alexandra Trusova has a fracture in her right landing foot, which is obviously going to impact her Olympic chances, and it echoes the injury to Yevgenia Medvedeva during the 2017-2018 season. Uh, this is something that Eteri Tubridza uh, discussed with American commentator Andrea Joyce at Skate America, and Match TV reported that they did know of the injury prior to leaving for Skate America, and they discussed potentially withdrawing, yet decided against it. Now, this injury was known um, by many factions and members of the Russian Figure Skating Federation, yet when Queen Tatiana Tarasova was reached out for a quote about this injury, she said, I do not believe in this. This is all lies. This is all your idiotic speculation. With a fracture, you cannot jump quadruple lats. Do you understand? It won't work, Tarasova said. The link right below Tarasova's quote reads, Alexandra Trusova performed with a fractured foot at the U.S. Grand Prix. And while her prognosis is not known officially, uh, world champion Maria Butirskaya did uh, discuss this situation with Match TV. And she said, with a fracture, probably you cannot freeze the injury, but the main danger lies in further difficult jumps. There could be a displacement uh, to the fracture. We don't know what kind of fracture it is, but this is a very dangerous thing. She said, whenever an athlete comes out with an injury and overcomes it, gives all their best, it is really a feat. That is what good athletes are distinguished for, that despite some things, they can force themselves to go towards the goal and perform feats. And when you lose, they usually find an excuse for their failure by trauma. She said, we do not know the whole truth. Only the coach, the team doctor, Sasha's parents, and Sasha herself know. They must make decisions. She has a reliable and professional team of smart people who have already done a lot. I think that they will now paint everything for Sasha as it should be, because it will not be very good to approach the Olympic Games with an injury. She also uh, added that the most important start of the season is the Olympic Games, but you need to qualify at the Russian Championships. Uh, it's important to note that Yevgenia Medvedeva technically qualified for the Olympic Games by competing at the European Championships during 2018 and actually missed uh, the 2017-2018 Russian Figure Skating Championships in December of 2017. Another interesting development that has occurred is that Renat Lyshev claimed that he knew nothing about Sasha Trusova's injury. When he was reached by Match TV, he said, I have no information about Alexandra Trusova's foot fracture. I haven't heard anything about it, Lyshev said. Now, the most interesting part of this is that Renat Lyshev is listed as the president of Sambo 70, and he was formerly the director of Sambo 70. Uh, this presidential title is more of a... Uh, political position. It is more, um, you know, for appearances, as he has basically been sidelined in his career, as they have uh, grown tired uh, of him commenting uh, out of turn in the press about Eteri Dubridza and many uh, girls on uh, the training squad at Sambo 70 and members of Team Dubridza. It's certainly um, a sad development if this great figure in Russian sports will no longer be appearing in the press as much as usual. And this is why he has reported that he has no information about the injury. It's also uh, curious that Alexandra Trusova didn't just gain the gold medal at Skate America. She also got a jewelry sponsorship with the company Brilliance and Melrose, a U.S. jewelry designer. Because when I think of Alexandra Trusova, I think of elegance and glamour. In other news, it was revealed that Alyona Kosternaya has two new programs for the upcoming Grand Prix season. She had previously been performing to Beth Hart and Winter, uh, which were shown at the Russian test skates and at her Senior B competition, yet the programs were not widely received. And Ekaterina Gerbolt uh, was out on Sports Are You saying how much she did not enjoy the programs and that Kostrenaya struggled with them more than the other girls who were performing their programs. It's interesting to note that Kostrenaya appears to be more of a priority for Sambo 70 after Anna Sherbakova did not have the greatest outing recently and the injury to Alexandra Trusova, uh, the chances of Team Tudberidza sweeping a podium in Beijing certainly could uh, definitely include Alyona Kostrenaya more than they did a few, a few weeks ago. If you notice, Alyona Kostrenaya was jumping the triple axel on her uh, Instagram, 
Uh, the jump is something that she is certainly capable of doing. The coaches say that it depends on when uh, she feels like doing it, <laughs> which any skater will tell you is um, a partial truth for uh, a jump that is struggling in training, but it is something that is certainly improving over it was a couple of weeks ago. Uh, programs are certainly expensive, as are dresses, so it is certainly an investment in Aljona Kostranaya for those who were worried about her standing, and the programs were a point of contention between Kostranaya and uh, the coaching staff of Team Tudbaridza LLC. It's important to note that this is her ninth program over the last 15 months. She did have lovely No Time to Die slash You Should See Me in a Crown, her uh, Korzynowski medley uh, for Romeo and Juliet, Winter, Yellow Moon, My Way, Twilight, uh, which apparently she was going to go back to if she was uh, competing at the World Championships, her Beth Hart short program, the Winter Free Skate, New York, New York, and now she is back to Lovely again. And it is interesting that she will be performing the Lovely uh, program, which had all of the drama uh, that Daniil Gleikenhaus choreographed prior to becoming an angel of Plushenka. And she will be performing to New York, New York by Frank Sinatra, one of the more unexpected uh, program choices. And we are certainly uh, eager to see it at the upcoming competitions. In other news, uh, Daniil Samsonov has withdrawn from his second Grand Prix. He remains one of the many Terry boys to enter the Boulevard of Broken Dreams for the boys of Team Tudbaridza. We all remember Adrian Pitgeyev, Ilya Skirda, and many of the other boys who have come and went over the years. Brady Tunnell of the United States also withdrew from her second Grand Prix assignment. And though they have not withdrawn yet, uh, Tiffany Zahorsky has been in the hospital uh, for several weeks. Uh, it's an infectious disease hospital. Um, and she has been reportedly very ill. Um, she is expected to likely uh, withdraw from the Grand Prix season. She did not perform her free dance at the Russian Test Gates. Instead, they performed their rhythm dance twice as Jonathan Guerrero had suffered from COVID over the summer. Uh, these setbacks are certainly going to play a role uh, as they prepare for the Olympic season. And it certainly opens the door for Diana Davis and Gleb Smokin, as well as Annabelle Morozov and Andre Bagen as the Olympics approach. Uh, we have not seen uh, Stepanova and Bukin yet, and uh, Nikita Katsalapov has been reportedly uh, suffering from a back injury. So these are certainly interesting developments in the ice dance world as it moves forward this Olympic season.